Uh, Vietnam was able to hold on to their sovereignty for quite some time until uh, I was able to actually forge a land border with them. And uh, I had an army in the nearby area that happened to be uh, totally overkill for the task at hand. Unrests in northern China. Although we have set up a new order in China, general Chinese population still refuse to accept the existence of such order. Uh, which leads to widespread resistance unlawful and uh, against unlawful rule of foreigners in northern China. Some experts suggest that in order to stabilize the situation, we should give the government um, more in Beijing more freedom to put down claims uh, that they are just the extended hands of foreigners. Uh, nope. It will remain under our control. What are you going to do? Rebel? Confederates are being quite greedy and they refuse to give back their uh, territories that they had to, that they've taken. Oh no, I want to uh It's taking a little bit longer to invade Vietnam than I thought. there uh, victory points at okay we just got to get to Saigon so you guys just plow down there that should be able to uh, should be able to take it. And then, from there, we can end this war. I think I should also probably make a... the Philippines their own country. and low infrastructure. It's, uh, fighting in Vietnam a pain in the ass. And the fact that Vietnam has a just ridiculous amount of uh, infantry divisions. Here comes the Indians. 
I like that there are random American divisions. Just, oh, great. Look at that. A Liberian division in India. I don't know why. I think that's kind of cool. Alright, you guys just drive on to Saigon. And once you take Saigon, that'll be good game. How long will it take you? It will take you about a week to get there. Would you give back those provinces, Confederate States of America? Just like the eternal Canadian Spanish provinces. Uh, I actually have to uh, rebuild those um, garrison di divisions. Republic of Vietnam. It's, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I don't associate um, Vietnam with any religion that has turban wearing as part of its tenets. But then again, they did used to be allied with the, the syndicate version of India, so maybe that's how they got there. The, the last sympathizers. Uh, do I have to call it the People's Republic of Vietnam? Is that really what it's got to be? Whatever. I can create Laos and Vietnam. That's what I'm going to do. Because I am such a nice guy. Okay. I need to put you guys on a port which uh, will be capable of taking all of you guys home. Which is the nearest one? I got to Shanghai. Okay. Alright, so we got the mighty, these two mighty nations is now a uh, part of the fold. The only nation that has really been spared is uh, Thailand.
Okay, well, they're already in Darwin. Once they get there, ship them up into a giant transport uh, division, and then we'll send uh, start sending men home. And we'll send men back to China if need be to uh, potentially need to uh, if they need to hold the line against the Russians. Alright, so, did I ever actually tell you what happened now? I can't remember if I did, but if I hadn't, now is the time I tell you where it happens now. Uh, that didn't make any sense at all. Anyway, um, now, my dear friends, we spend some time to allow ourselves and our allies to build up, especially uh, the Chinese, who I want to at some point build up into a strong and powerful nation capable of defending themselves. Oh wow, well, I forgot about these two guys. Okay, 29. Our, our supply problems here. Now they're at 80%, so they'll be okay. Anyway, so I want to give some time to our guys to uh, build up. And the amount of time I'm going to give them is probably five years. And then five years from now, so about 1952, it's time for the invasion. It's time for the two empires of the world to begin their knockdown, drag out battle to the death. All out brawl. So, we'll have the capability to strike from both ends of the world. You fucking Confederates, you better give back those problems. I don't know why that bothers me so much. Hopefully one day they will. One day. And we're gonna send our men home and take a lot of time to let everybody build up for the coming war, which will hopefully be the war to end all wars, the most epic conflict the world has the world has ever seen. The Entente and uh, the German Empire and their vassal states and allies going at it. And it'll be a remake of World War One, kind of, sort of, maybe. Well, it'll be the same sides, supposedly. Oh, you tit fucking bitch, mother! Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna have fun transporting those units. So. It's time to end this Let's Play for now, so I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Joseph Feast Run of Salon, signing off for now. Until next time, you guys, take care. <laughs>